there are words I wouldn't say here. And that's why I teach you about prayer, okay? Because there are things that we need to do, but it's not right for me to say them on the screen here. Because even though I'm talking to you and it's us, it's still more public than you would want it to be. So some of those things I've got to go back, you know, into my own privacy and do that kind of praying. But there are some of it that there are more of us, that more of us need to do. And we can't do them in the open like this. So what I've got to do is teach you that this is what you've got to do. Especially in praying for leaders, sometimes we have to be very specific about the leaders we're praying about. Sometimes we actually have to call the names. And it's not right for me to do that here. So well, you can, and, and when I'm doing that, maybe for uh, country A or country B, and, uh, and I'm doing that, and you are doing that where you are, and you, you gather some of, the, some of the brethren, you can do that in church, you know, that's private. Yeah, it's in church, in your cell, or a, a group of ministers in a city. And you can connect together online to do that. And you say, we're going to pray about this over our city, over our country. And then you, you, you put in some details because those details are necessary. Yes, sir. And so you exercise that divine authority over those demons. and break their influence and stop their activities and their use of those individuals in your city or in your country or even in your family or in your neighborhood. And things will change faster than you realize. You find people reversing what they plan to do Reversing what they plan to do. There are many things that we have changed like that. I, I wouldn't put those details here, you know. But there are quite some things. There are quite some things that we have um, taken actions about. And I have had to, I've, I've had to, oh boy, I've got a lot of testimonies. But I don't come out to say, oh, well, so I said this because... And those were things that I had to deal with. But certain situations, privately. And yet, it affected nations. These are important things. But we have to learn them and use the authority given to us in Christ Jesus. So like I said... When you exercise this authority, those demons don't necessarily leave those people, okay? But they stop using them to do the things you have forbidden them of doing. And that's what you want anyway. Like we talked about something that, that they were doing in New Zealand. Something... There are, there are saints of God in New Zealand that will need to take some actions. They will need to take some actions in the spirit. And understand that these things are, they're not okay. They're not okay. Or what's going on in, in the United Kingdom? Where today the the... the the, the guy who was serving as the 
chancellor of the exchequer, was fired and replaced. By a guy, I mean, he's just been there for less than 40 days. So there must be some trouble. There's something. The government must have been under pressure. The, the prime minister must have been under pressure to do what she did. But who's pressuring this? And, and what do they want? And maybe, maybe the policies that they were coming up with were good. Maybe. Somebody doesn't want something. So what is it? Where is this supposed to be driving to? Where are they going? So in this kind of situation, when you pray in tongues, now um, this reminds me, I was, I was informed about a, a question that somebody asked on uh, Chronicles of Prophecy. I hope I'm... I'm getting it right. They said it had to do with a, a question on when you pray in tongues uh, and then your mind. Uh, whether do you just allow your mind to think of nothing or do you, what do you do with your mind when you're praying in other tongues? I think, that's what that, I think that's what the question was. Well, except if... Uh, those communicating that um, interpreted it to be so. But um, it's, it's very easy. I'll explain that to you. Two things to understand. Firstly, when you read in Romans chapter 8 from verse 26, the Bible says something that's important. It says, likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself help make it in a session for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now, this is the Spirit praying through the Christian, praying through the saint. This is a different kind of prayer. This is not the same thing as speaking in tongues. All right? 